There's now so much of it, it has nowhere to go. Water, submerging the British landscape in an endless succession of rain and flooding. This was Somerset. It could have been almost anywhere in the country. So many areas are now affected. At Chesil Beach in Dorset, the extremely rare sound of a siren. The Environment Agency worried its 20-foot high defences would be breached. The Cove Inn was among the buildings battered by the exceptionally high seas. Come through. Its landlady, Jackie Breakspear, was forced into an upstairs room, but it too was lashed by the waves. It's just fantastic to watch from up here. You feel safe up here as well, to be fair. Not in two decades have they seen these kinds of mountainous seas here. Churning waves that bombarded the promenade with water and pebbles. We've lived here for 18 years and it was the worst that I've ever seen it. And the only time that I've heard the siren go off. But it's not just Britain's coasts under pressure. In landlocked Oxfordshire and Wiltshire, the land was hard to see in places. But in Aberystwyth, a lull in the pulses of rain and high tides meant something of a clean-up could finally begin. It's been very frustrating because, you know, high tide after high tide has been pummeling our coastline and there is limited work that we can do until that storm subsides. So destructive is all this, Britain is actually being reshaped by the weather. Take a look at Dorset's famous pom-pom rock. It went from this to this. An ancient stack toppled by the waves. And in Cornwall, the Porth Coffin Arch was transformed from this to this. All on a day when MPs and others questioned the government's ability to respond to the flooding. We certainly have concerns about the impact of the proposed budget cuts on uh, the Environment Agency's ability to respond to uh, flooding events in the future, but more particularly to be able to do the work that's required between the floods to maintain flood defences. There are no official figures yet on the extent of the soaking Britain has suffered since Christmas. But record or not, it certainly feels like an epic deluge that continues to inundate the senses.